What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to win games in NBA 2K19 My Team Unlimited. So basically, if you guys are, you guys are probably thinking, oh, I'm probably not the person to be talking about this, obviously, but um, look at rewards. So obviously there are six player of the months to get before um, Isaiah Thomas, but I've already got the player of the month, Michael Finley. So I'm gonna be telling you guys what type of team to put together, which is best to, um, get this uh have you get this card this is the squad that i used replace michael finley with kevin durant i did not use any of the other good cards in my collection this was the exact squad that i pretty much used to um go all the way through uh well through my team unlimited start but i'm gonna create a new squad and i'm gonna go and go over a much cheaper squad that you definitely definitely should use so one major thing that you that is actually huge this year that i didn't think was going to be nearly as big and it's pick and pop jump shooters. Because no blow by, you're gonna have to rely a lot more on pick and rolls. And because there's no way of actually accessing freelance offenses, you honestly, pick and pop jump shooters are going to be your friend. So, and um, what I would suggest is for three tokens to pick up a Emerald card and that Emerald card being Channing Fry. Like you look at centers, there are some centers that can shoot it a little bit. Like Boogie can shoot a little bit and it's about 7K. Um, Tony Wells, Moss Turner can shoot a little bit. This card's really nice as well. But if you want a knockdown pick and pop shooter, like you cannot go wrong with Channing Fry. And even though Channing, Channing Fry is not my favorite player to use in this position, it's actually the guy I use off the bench. And he's not too expensive either. I think he's like three or 4K. And it's a power forward, Derek Coleman. So Derek Coleman, most games I play with him have been rage quits, but he's literally averaging 11 points per game, per game for me through 12 games and is shooting one of 1.33s and shooting over, well over 50% from the field. Derek Coleman is just a god for me. So just look at these, this guy's stats, like great shot mid, great shot three, um, as well as being a good enough rebounder, well defensively anyway, relatively fast and has good post game. And his release is money. So these are the guys I like to run at the center position. With the power forward position, I like to run dynamic players that can push the ball, that can push the floor because most of the time, like even though the post game is better a lot of the time there's help defenders to come in there's a lot of bump steals so post game still isn't the most important thing uh, for that reason i would suggest to use someone like a i don't know i'm actually probably gonna end up using almost the exact same team but what i would suggest to use is a yana Yan the combo a lebron james you have the game area at this stage you already have this lebron james i wouldn't mind using him um, I'm trying to think who else there is, but like obviously Jared Jeffries because he's actually a lot harder to obtain You do need 30 tokens minimum. I'm not gonna put Jared Jeffries into the squad. I'm gonna have a look to see is there any cheap ones Obviously Ben Simmons is the same as like for the same reasons So let's I'm just gonna have a look at the Emerald players So um, you just want someone that can attack the basket and just be kind of a dynamic player at that position and I'm trying to look to see is there any good ones and I think I might go with a gold card and put in where is he? I know I have him somewhere. Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan Isaac is 6'10. He's got um a decent enough three ball. Terrible shot mid though. Um, but he is relatively fast, I guess. Decent speed and acceleration. He's also an okay rebounder. Um actually he's not a great rebounder, to be completely honest. So maybe not him. So if you have the game now, I'm just gonna put in LeBron right here. If you have the game now, uh you might as well use someone like a LeBron. And I'm going to put Simmons on the bench because obviously I've been using Simmons on the bench with Derek Coleman the whole time. These cards are not the most expensive. They're not that cheap, but they are not the most expensive. But cards like this are fine. At the small forward position, you just want a glue guy. Cards that I've been using, I've been using Gerald Wallace and Kevin Durant. But like you can go cheaper and there's a lot of really good glue guys at that small forward position. For um, really cheap, where is he? Where's Otto, Por Otto Porter? Otto Porter again is a beast this year. He's 6'8". He's got an open shot mid of 90. Open shot 3 of 84. I really like his release. Once you get used to it, it's fine. He's also got a decent steal rating. Not the fastest, but again, you don't need him to be too fast. Not the best lower quickness. Not the best defender, but he's long enough. And he can just be a solid, solid glue guy. And then other flat cards you can use here. I have no problem with suggesting a player for three tokens. Because three tokens is really easy to get. For three tokens, you can pick up a James Posey. James Posey, again... Well, better than Porter. He can shoot the ball really well. Good shot mid. Great shot three of 86. As well as really, really nice defensive stats. And he's a lot faster. So a really good card here. 
and for only three tokens. At the two, obviously. Obviously, I am going to be running with um, an Emerald, and it's Mo Peterson. Like, Mo Peterson is just a god in this game. Where is he? There he is. Like, 6'9". Like, he's going to be, like, my go-to guy. He's gonna, he's the new Reggie Lewis for the next um, couple of weeks, I'd say. But um, he's got unbelievable shooting stats, an unbelievable, an unbelievable defender, can dunk, and is one of the best cards in the game, without doubt, in my opinion, right now. And then the other two guard, I had been using, um, actually no, sorry, not that I have been using, I've been using Jay Rich. Jay Rich is just a god. He can shoot, he can defend, he can dunk a little bit. He is insane. Like 82 open shot three, 84 driving dunk, decent enough ball control, good speed to your ball acceleration, an okay defender. Like he is a beast and he's less than 1000 MT. And then at the point guard position, you just want, you want a slasher. You want a slasher at the point guard position. And it helps if they're tall. So I would definitely suggest to run someone not as not a point guard. I like using Yanis here because, well, everyone has him for starting the game. This uh, Sapphire Yanis. And I've used the Amethyst Yanis. And honestly, there's not enough of a difference to justify me saying to buy the Amethyst. And last guy off the bench. Um, like, there's a lot of guys you can use the point guard position. There's some cards I like. Like, I like um, Thomas Sadoransky. 6-7, can shoot a little bit, but not the best attack in the basket. But the best one that I've used, surprisingly enough, obviously if Donovan Mitchell cards like that are better, the best one that I've used that's really cheap is an, Ameth sorry, an Emerald Tyreek Evans. The Tyreek Evans has got a cash release. He's got an open shot three of 78. He's also got, well, not the best driving dunk, but he'll dunk when he's open. He's got a driving layup 85, which is really good, and he can speed boost with 86 ball control. So Tyreek Evans is really, really nice in this game. Not the best defender, but you don't really need him for defense. And last year with the bench, I'm just gonna throw in three bronzes. Damn, why did I do that? I keep pressing square, a, square X. And to make the squad cheaper, I've actually found Tobias Harris that does a fairly similar job to Ben Simmons, obviously not as well. And yet it's the team. So this team can basically picked up Two of these cards are free that you get for getting the game. Three of these cards can pick up for three tokens each, which is nothing. And the rest of the team, except for Derek Holm, is under a thousand, and Derek Holm's barely over a thousand. So like this team is literally like eight, nine KMT plus a couple of tokens at most. And I can guarantee you that if you play the right way with this team, you can win the game. And I'm gonna go over my tactics in the game now, so let's get on to it. Alright, so we're playing against not the best squad here. But uh, it's not too bad, and he's using that free agent Kevin Durant, who's the best player on either of our teams. All right, so offensively, this is a huge thing. But the fact that there is no way to set freelancers, or at least I haven't found out a way yet, I'm guessing most people won't, pick and pop jump shooters. The AI can't defend the pick and pop properly. Like, I know I missed that one there, but the AI can't defend it properly. And you, you kind of want all shooters as well. Like, he literally, Mo Peterson, just doesn't miss. Also on defense, because no freelances means no zone plays. Zone is your friend. So one tip I'm going to give you, zone is going to be your friend. If you know how to play zone well, you're at a huge advantage. Obviously, there's times where man will definitely help if you're playing against all shooters. But you're not going to be playing against many people with all shooters, to be honest, right now. But um, So zone is going to be your friend. Cross them up. At the same time, if you're using cards like Channing Fry, you've still got the fact that he's a, a slightly above average post player. So he can go and bully anytime point guard switched onto him, which is a good thing. And then if you're running a team like this where your smallest player is 6'8, the zone is going to be lethal. Okay. Three ball, green light. Mo Peterson. Straight up. Buy him. Buy him. First player, or again, the first player you should always get is Mo Peterson. Straight into Channing Fry, easy dunk. Another tip is that, what I'm gonna say is because people are saying it's because of the fact that this game is now like has a skill gap, it's not. It's the fact it's at a higher difficulty and the players aren't as good. So for now anyway, I feel like there will be more of a skill gap. But one bit of advice is to always just make the extra pass. There is no point ever taking a contested layup because it never works out. Like it almost, like contested layups are the worst thing you can take. If they're driving in, fine, but like contested standing layups will not will not go in, ever, pretty much. Not a good shot by LeBron, but he knocks it down anyway. See, 10 point lead already in this game. I'm just coming off a 12 game winning streak, and um, 
suddenly it's a rage quit already. Uh, so like obviously, um, this tactic does work for now anyway. This tactic mightn't work in two weeks. Honestly, when people figure out how to exploit the game, the tactic honestly might work. But as of right now, I have not had a game within single digits so far. I fell out of a game, but I was probably going to lose that one anyway. And apart from that, I've won every other game by double digits. So tips for winning, basically, sit in a big 2-3 zone. So always have a little bit of height. Like Tyreek Evans, 6'5", or 6'6", six, six is my smallest player here. So you always want to have that little bit of height in the team. Um, the power forward position, like really using an out and out center, there's no major advantage to it. Obviously they're gonna out rebound um, smaller guys, but pick and pop jump shooters are so, so important. And you'll see it from my Michael Finley gameplay. And if you've come up, if you haven't been one of the people I've come up against me, you know how much I rely on pick and pop jump shot. And also wings that can shoot are much needed. And my last tip is always just to never actually focus on overall. Overall is one of the most irrelevant things in my team. Because if you guys look, Mo Peterson, 85-86 is an 83 overall. Actually, you gotta replace him with Jimmy Butler, 82-89. So like, they're very, very similar. Mo Peterson's so much better as a shooter than Jimmy Butler. And then defensively, um, it does not, like, not even that much of a difference if you take a defensive consistency, which I don't even know what it does between these two guys. And then you look even at, um, Let's have a look. You look at some, uh, I'll do some small forwards, Kawhi Leonard, compare him. Like offensively, it's not even close. Mo Peterson is so, so much better than Kawhi. And a card that I actually prefer to Kawhi. And then Paul George as well. Like Mo Peterson is way, way better than Paul George. Like, and his release is money as well. So like, you gotta look at things like that. And Jay Rich is for the same reason. Jay Rich's release is cash as well. Plays above his stats and just doesn't miss. James Posey lockdown, so you gotta kinda look past overalls a lot of the time. And Otto Porter, just a beast of a shooter, a solid glue guy. So also, with the fact that it seems to be impossible to use any freelance offenses, which 2K seems to have taken out to stop five out. But by doing that, all it means is that there's no longer any zone freelances. So the zones are so OP right now. 2K will fix it, they will fix it, but right now, as of day, well, day one technically Friday, 2k or um the zone is super super overpowered so anyway yep that's the video you guys saw me just blow out somebody and i've been doing that the last two days um there's i think i've just been one of the first people to find out how to exploit this game i'm by no means good at 2k and the fact that i'm on a 15 game win streak shows that the tactic that i've been using is something that works so anyway that's the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe